What the hell are you doing? He's awake. Good. Keep him focused. I like the way he feels. He feels sticky. Go about your duties. When the transfer is complete, then we'll have what we came for. I want you to believe me. I wish this could have been any other way, Jackie. But we all have tough choices to make, and this is yours. So you're the fucker who tried to hit us at the restaurant, huh? Don't talk, and don't think. Just listen. You've been keeping something that was once lost. Something that doesn't belong to you. Now you have to choose to give it back. What happens to you is of secondary concern. I only care about one thing. I want the darkness! I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. But the fact is, you're careless. And far too many criminals in this city believe you have a demon living inside you. The restaurant was a test to be certain you were the new darkness host. Now you've passed that test, we want it back. Hmm... I feel you shifting in there. Are you getting nervous? You're too stupid to give the darkness the fear and respect it deserves, Jackie. It prefers the company of a moron it can control, and it loathes the sight of an intelligent man who can control it. Now I'll ask just once. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Why don't you try and take it if you're such a fucking genius? If you read anything but comic books and menus, you'd know there are rules. The host may only give up the darkness by choice. I'm afraid I have to help you make that choice. Mr. Peevish, if you'd be so kind. Watch this, pretty boy. It's your own personal snuff movie. The darkness made you watch your girlfriend's murder. Your first meaningful act as its host was one of submission. Face it, Jackie. You can't control the darkness, and you never could. Best to give it back to the people who can. Hmm. That stream of dark essence flowing into the siphon tells me you're already thinking of giving it up. Let's see if I can grease the wheels of that decision. Mr. Bragg. So, this was your girlfriend, huh, Jackie boy? I guess wars with lip rings give good head. What's the matter? Couldn't fuck her face when her head was blown off? Jackie! Oh, Jackie, the whole damn place is overrun! Don't give it each, Jackie. They don't got the whole place yet. Shut up! You're under attack all across the city. We have the means and the intent to bring your organization to its knees, and within minutes, we'll control your home. So think fast, Jackie. This isn't just about you anymore. Make a choice, left or right. One got wet. You did what you had to do, Jackie. You show these bastards who they just fuck with. Shut your ugly mouth, you fucking corpse. You made a bad decision to let the genie back out of the bottle, Jackie. To the darkness, you're just a puppet made of skin and gristle. Last chance. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Fuck you! Then not of your own free will! I'm trying to help you, but if you're too stupid to see it, I'll negotiate in a language even you can understand. Mr. Bragg! Kill everyone in the mansion! Find the old lady, and tear off both of her arms! Hey, how about I tear off a useless old tits? What do you think of that, Jackie boy? You lost Jenny because you couldn't control the darkness. And now you're going to lose everything you cherish, because you don't have the sense to accept your limitations. Break his will! He will beg us to take it from him! Jackie! You must resist! Protract the 
darkness. Never! I'm done with you! Do not let them take me! Fuck you. I'm done being your puppet. You will do my bidding. Give me one good reason! Jenny's dead, you idiot. Focus! Give me the darkness, or your dear old Aunt Sarah is worm food. I can't. You leave me no choice but to use the siphon, <coughs> Mr. Peevish. The binding rituals are nearly prepared. Won't be long now. Good. Keep working him over. I want him as weak as possible when the ritual begins. Resist. <coughs> The host broke free! Eat this, Ed! Peevish, the siphon! Get outside and lock the fucking door! I tried to give you an out, Jackie, so don't ever say you weren't given a choice. You bought this on yourself, and you've bought it on your family. I was only trying to help you! You won't die, Jackie. The darkness won't let you, but by the time you get out, your Aunt Sarah will be gutted and boned, and you'll have gained nothing. Think about just how powerless you are, because next time, I won't ask so nicely. Torch the entire building! <sighs> the Siphon! For Jenny! Butch! 
Up here! Holy shit, Jackie! We thought you were done for! I know! I gotta get- They took the mansion! They're gonna kill everybody! Fuck! Meet me up oh, ahead! Exactly. I'll find my At way down! Service. Take the siphon! It will make us complete! Shut up! She cries, Jaggy! Look out! It's a darkling! Dying time! I want to no. Release me! Works for execution! And start! Oh! oh. That hurt better than I thought. Why are we standing around? There was this priest that used to come around the orphanage, Father Alonzo. Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking, and it ain't that kind of story. Anyway, must have been about a thousand years old or something, real fire and brimstone type of guy. Used to tell us kids that hell wasn't some bullshit story they made up to keep us in line. It was fucking real. A fucked up place, where all the deadbeats, hookers, dealers, and junkies all ended up. And if we weren't careful, that's exactly where we were gonna go. Fuck. If only it were that easy. <laughs> 